I'm at the house at 1610 Saxon Hill in the West Creek subdivision. Going to give you a 360 in the neighborhood here. This will be the condition of the home as of the date of this video, which is October 3rd, 2015, about 5.30 in the afternoon. I'm just going to zoom in here. About two or three blocks down is the GOM Elementary School, so your easy walking distance there. This community has two community pools, playground, basketball court, tennis court, jogging trails, a whole lot, bunch of amenities. This home is also on a nice corner lot, so we have a nice good sized front yard here. Let's go and take a look inside. The community is located off of Military Drive off of 1604, so you're close to Lackland Air Force Base, Sea Road, Highway 151. We got a two car garage here with garage door openers. The house itself is a four bedroom, two and a half bath. The square footage is roughly 2,272 square feet. We'll do a layout here of the first floor. All right, right at the entry, we have the door to the two car garage. There's also a uh, double water heater it's tied into a solar system. Uh, right here, straight ahead, is going to be the dining room, living room, and around the left side will be the kitchen. We have beautiful tile floors uh, throughout most of the first floor and nice tall ceilings also throughout the home. This is a good size formal dining room and you can see it's also open up to the living room. To my left here we got a beautifully updated and upgraded kitchen. We have let me go inside here. We have nice cabinetry, beautiful granite countertops, nice tile backsplash, and then some of the cabinet features would be these are the uh, the non-slamming types. So when you close them, they kind of close on their own. This is kind of your breakfast nook. You can put a smaller table in here for your informal dining. We have a built-in oven, microwave, flat top stove, again beautiful designer tile backsplash here. And then some also some nice features here. You got built-in spice racks on either side. You got one here and one on this side. So you can organize your items for cooking. Yes, so let me stand back here. Nice recessed lighting there. And a lot of these uh, cabinets have pull out shelves so you can get to your things very easily. So, beautiful kitchen here. Again, the formal dining area which opens up to the living room. We have a gas, stove, uh, gas fireplace here. And then the nice tall ceilings. Get a better perspective. So good size living room. Off the living room we have the utility area. This is the second door to the garage, so you have two different entries to the garage. Washer and dryer. Here you have the half bath and your commode. Then we have a downstairs masters. Again, nice high ceilings here. Ceiling fan. You should be able to fit a king size bed easily and have room for your nightstands uh, and put your dresses against a different wall and have lots of room for your furniture. Also we have dual walk-in closet. So this is the first walk-in closet. And then another one right next to it. Okay, the master bathroom. We got dual doors, double doors ent uh, entering the masters. Got a nice deep garden tub. Separate stand up shower. And then your commode with the door is in here. And then you have 
dual sinks and a sitting area. Okay, let's show the outside. We have a nice patio here for barbecuing and also a large backyard with a lot of mature trees. Lots of natural shade here. Kind of like almost like a park like setting. And it also goes around the corner, so a very good sized lot. And uh, you, un, unlike a lot of lots, corner lots, a lot of times you lose a lot of the space because it's used up in the front of the house. But this is a good mix of a little bit of extra space in the front of the house, but most of the yard is in the backyard where it's most usable if you have kids or pets. Also, kind of nice here, you can see upstairs. All right, so let's head upstairs. We're going to have Three additional bedrooms upstairs and a large loft or game room area. Let's do a quick layout at the top of the stairs. To my immediate left is a hall bath which also connects like a Jack or Jill to bedroom number two. Here we have bedroom number three. And then a little walkway over here to bedroom number four and the loft or game room area. So let's walk this from left to right. So you can have this as your hall bath. You have a sink here, commode, and your shower tub combination. And then for this bedroom, you can also close that door and have your own sink to bedroom number two. Nice high ceilings here, ceiling fan, and then a very good size walk-in closet. Okay, let's head outside. Bedroom number three. Yeah, we got the nice tall ceiling here and then a good size walk-in closet. So lots of storage space. And then better number four. This might be the largest of the three upstairs bedrooms. They're all very good size and nice tall ceilings. And then finally the loft or game room area. This is a very good size. So this is a very nice home, great neighborhood right next to the elementary school. If you'd like more information about this home or like to schedule a showing, my name is Mark Fee. My cell number is 210 618 91 Six one, or you can call the office at Liberty Management 210-681-8080. And if you're working with a realtor already, it's set up for easy showing in the centralized showing service. Thank you.